Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. I brought Christina with me. Say hello. Hello. Brought everybody another quick drink review in the health probiotic front. Now I am going to MC for Christina on this since I didn't try it. I tried to have you try it. Yes, well hold on a second. Before we talk about the Chobani probiotic pineapple turmeric, correct? Yes. I am not a p -p 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 pineapple p -p 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 person. I am. So I am not. So... Uh, Christina tried this beverage. You picked this up to, again, address your health. Yes. Again, we, we've, we've actually reviewed, I believe we reviewed... The cherry hibiscus. Yes, thank you. The cherry hibiscus tea before from the Chobani probiotic offering. Yes. So... There's a total of three flavors. Gotcha. So before we go any further, though, you picked this up uh, for $2. Yes, on sale with coupon. In the Washington, D.C. area, folks. Again, prices may vary. Typically, these will retail for between 3 and $4 or so per. For full retail. For full retail, right. So, again, um, I just want to go through some of the nutritional facts and then go through the taste and the flavor profile. So, how large is the, the serving size for this? Is it... One bottle, 14 ounces. Okay, so it's actually quite a decent serving size then. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go through the rest of the nutritional facts. Per bottle, it's 70 calories. That's not bad. Total fat, 2 grams or 3% of your daily need. No sodium. Total carbohydrates is where they kind of ding you a little bit at 14 grams, 5%. I would have guessed 9 grams, but I was off. Dietary fiber, 1 gram. Mm. Total sugars, 10 gram. Wow. Mm. Protein, 1 gram. Gotcha. So, folks, um, before we go any further with the taste, probiotics are designed to give you good, I guess I'll call it stomach gut health, I guess. Yes. So, I'm not going to, if you can connect the dots out there, everybody, probiotics will help you along i'll put it that way is that a in some cases and that's not why christina purchased this beverage no um she did it also for the uh for, for some of the carbs because she works out because she needs some things to burn and also for the protein and of course fiber helps but and, and not to sound like a complete health nut this drink is organic non-dairy naturally fermented non-gmo and gluten-free bro <laughs> <laughs> but no, folks, I, I don't want to. I don't want to give this regularity comment and make people think that Christina bought this just so that it would help her along in that area. That's not why. Okay, no, be clear. Um, it's like a cleanse. Gotcha. Um, so, question on the on the flavor profile. How does it taste? More pineapple. You really can't taste the turmeric. They really balance these out, out really nice. It's very smooth. Just a lot to drink. Gotcha. Yeah, fourteen ounces is quite a bit. I was kind of getting over it by the time I hit 14 ounces. Yeah, you're probably thinking to get about halfway through and think, all right, break time. And yeah, it does have a resealable top, though. Yeah, and what I was also thinking was taking one of my regular energy drinks and mixing it because it's the same flavor profile. It would also give you some carbonation in it, too. Exactly. And I think that the uh, cherry hibiscus also had a little bit of carbonation to it, I think, as I recall. Uh, folks, please go back and watch that review if you haven't done so already. And by the way, make sure you subscribe. It helps us out. It also helps out the Frugal Snobs Project. If you'd like, check out the Frugal Snobs Podcast also. Go to FrugalSnobs.com. Everything you need to know is there. And you can support us, of course, by going to support.frugalsnobs.com for as little as 99 cents a month. Getting the cheap plugs out of the way. <laughs> yeah. And so, I'll say this is a good choice, I mean, as far as, like, health is concerned. Mm -hmm. One, pineapple is great for digestive health. I'm not a pineapple person, so. Turmeric is good to help freeze cancer in its tracks. So it, it helps to fight certain types of cancer. Yes, not seems... recommended during chemotherapy because it interferes with that, but if you are off chemo or you want to prevent cancer, get your daily intake of turmeric. I mean, I, I, I think, I, I obviously we're not saying this as, a, as medical advice, but at the same time, I think turmeric wouldn't hurt you either. Exactly. Preventative measures always keep you out of the hospital. As Absolutely. Best, That's, more likely. As we've said, actually, we've said it actually on a previous review to this one uh, for another product, Again, folks, if you subscribe, uh, please do. You'll see it. You'll see it. And uh, I think long, short, probiotics are assistive to your health, but they're not a replacement for checking the metrics of your health. Exactly. So take your vitamins, take your supplements, all that good stuff, brother, brother. And turmeric also helps keep your blood sugar balanced. That's right. Gotta get that Hulk Hogan moment in, brother, brother. <laughs> so, that's right. Eat your vitamins, say your prayers, brother, brother. Um, so what would you give us in terms of a snob rating? We always do that here. I would say three to three and a half because of the size. Three to three and a half stars. Yes. Star snob rating. Yes. That's what we do here at the Frugal Snobs. We rate everything. But so. I do have to think it because it's like only 9% juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ding it for that, people. Well, what's the other 91%? Uh, let's see. Carbonated water, oat blend, 
which is water, whole grains. Oat blend. Yeah, uh, pineapple juice from concentrate, filtered pineapple juice from concentrate, turmeric, um, natural cultures, apple cider vinegar, organic ingredients. It doesn't really say. <laughs> I can at least mark. read it. Qu exactly. <laughs> it's no, no partially hydrogenated soybean oil. Uh, no red 40, no yellow 5, all that other good stuff. Okay, anyway. No hydro hydrogenated bromine oil. Huh? They put that in Mountain Dew to actually suspend it and make it look hazy. Ugh. What, it's what, it's it, oil. Is it the same stuff they put in Gatorade? Yes. Ugh. All right. On that note, and yes, quote me on that. Ugh. Yeah. All yeah. right. Are you good here? Yes. All right, folks. We hope you enjoyed this review. Um, again, check out all the other reviews. Please subscribe wherever you enjoy the Frugal Snobs content. It helps us out. We're trying to climb the charts on the subscriber count, folks, and we are gaining pretty quickly. So, again, it helps us out to make sure that you subscribe, like, post, share, all that good jazz. And we're going to keep going with the reviews. More products coming out as quickly as we can. Yes. Again, as I said before, please check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. If you like what you see, what you hear, please go to frugalsnobs.com. And you can where you can catch the podcast on your podcatcher podcasting network of choice. Make sure you subscribe there as well. And you can support us by going to support.frugalsnobs.com for as little as 99 cents a month if you'd like to do so. If not, folks, that's okay. Again, we're always going to be here for everybody, and we hope we can educate, entertain, etc. As always, be well, never pay retail. Take care of yourself and each other. Right at